Hey, welcome to the video. In this video, we're gonna be sharing some quick Premiere Pro tips that are gonna help you save your videos within Premiere Pro, fix some common issues that you have, and also improve your workflow. So let's jump into this one. So black frames between cuts can be really, really frustrating and really tricky to find, especially if you've got a huge timeline. Here's how you can find them easily. Go to Sequence at the top menu and then select Close Gaps. And it's done, it's that easy. Alternatively, you can select the gap manually and use the keyboard shortcut Option plus Delete on a Mac or Alt plus Delete on Windows. This not only closes the gaps, but it also moves all the subsequent clip backwards, eliminating any spacing issues. Next up is an audio gain shortcut. Really handy if your project needs a bit of an audio boost. So highlight all of your clips, press G, and the audio gain window will appear. I recommend normalizing all peaks to minus six dB for a nice balanced sound. Next, let's talk about crossfading audio to eliminate clipping. When editing out erms or unwanted sections, you might notice slight clipping sounds at the cut points. Now to fix this, you want to highlight all of your audio tracks, then press Shift and D. This adds a subtle crossfade effect at each cut point, smoothing out the audio transitions seamlessly. Film. And then the director kindly let me come on set and film it. Thought it'd be a good show. Next, something you may not have heard of, this is the Direct Manipulation Tool. So a hidden gem in Premiere Pro is the Direct Manipulation Tool. Located at the bottom left of the program window, with this tool, you can resize and reposition your clips directly within the preview window, or you can use the drop-down arrow to switch to the crop option, which lets you crop clips quickly without adding the crop effect. Next, what about if you wanna move clips to another timeline? So if you want to transfer clips and assets between sequences without copy and pasting, here's a pro tip. So select all of the clips that you want to move like this, hold Command on a Mac or Control on Windows, and drag them to the desired timeline and drop them where you need them. No need for copy and paste. And there you go, five quick tips for Premiere Pro that you may not know about. These are really gonna speed up your workflow and I hope they have helped you today. If they have, let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got any quick tips, make sure to share them and we can share them with our fans and users. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.